Hey, it's Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 36. Last week, we read The Art of War, one of my favorite books of all times. This time, the lesson that I took away from was you got to vary your tactics. You do. Even in business, you think it's important in war, but think about it in business. Everybody gets comfortable. You're making a lot of money. Things are going great. And then all of a sudden, the market shifts. Something changes. The economy goes bad. Your main supplier goes out of business. What are you going to do? When you have varied your tactics, now you can keep going. There's also a process called creating multiple sigmoid curves. And when you have multiple streams of revenue coming into your business, then you can make sure that if something catastrophic happens on one sigmoid curve, the rest of the curves can carry you through. So as the leader in your organization, as the general in your army, whatever you are, as the parent in your home, you have to vary your tactics. And then you also have to make sure that your troops, team members, staff members, children, everybody is trained and ready to do what they need to do. I want you to be successful. So make sure going forward right now, after you watch this video, that you vary your tactics. Last week, our TED talk was, who are you really? Mm -hmm. So who are you really? He talks about two types of people, introverts and extroverts. And believe it or not, I know when you see me on the videos and you see me on Snapchat and photos, I seem like I'm such this amazing extrovert. But in reality, I am an introvert. Actually, they have a term for us. They have classified us as social introverts. But what he talks about in the TED Talk is very interesting. Extroverts need external stimulation in order to be fulfilled. And introverts need internal stimulations. So because I am an introvert, I can participate in external activities or extrovert activities. I have a two to three hour window and then I must leave and I must go home and sit in my quiet time. And he called that the repair time. We had amazing, great information from the book and the TED Talk this week. For those of you who are just not joining us, click on that link, click on that link. You have to click on the link and join us. Why? Because I want you to be better than average. The average adult reads one nonfiction book a year, and I don't want that to be you. You still have time to be better than average. I want you to be super awesome, amazing. I want you to be a champion and not a champion. Champions don't read. Champions read and get their information from everywhere. This week's book is The Cared Principle. We're going to learn how to be Bugs Bunny. No, we're not. <laughs> it's all about management and how to reward your staff. This week's TED Talk is all about the lie in small business. I can't wait to see what it's going to be. As I always say, when you can read it and you can see it, then you can believe it and you can certainly achieve it. From here to the galaxy. I'll see you guys next week. Au revoir.